everybody! This is Liv from the Free Science Workshop. Now, since we've all been spending a lot more time in the places that we live, you might have gotten curious and looked around at some of your appliances. Maybe a hairdryer, maybe a toaster. Well, hopefully your toaster doesn't look like this. But we all have things in our lives that we just sort of use without maybe thinking about what's going on, why they're doing what they're doing, or how the heck that actually happens. So today, we're gonna to take a closer look inside and show you how we've harnessed the power of these appliances to turn into one of our favorite science tools here at the workshop. Specifically what we're looking for is something called nichrome wire. In this hairdryer, for instance, if you take a look in the back end, you can see that coil of wire inside. That's what heats up to create the hot air to blow your hair. If we want to take a look at this outside of the hairdryer, someone from our take apart zone has managed to extract one of these buddies. This is what's happening inside your hairdryer. You can see the coil of wire kind of spins down like a curly slide and ends up connecting to a power source. Inside the toaster, we can find nichrome in these little strips on the walls. Let's see if we can get ourselves in focus there. Right about there. When you press down the lever to sink your bread into the toaster, these small bits of nichrome along the side are also gonna heat up. You can often see them glow orange if you get your face close enough to take a look, but not so close to burn yourself. Thankfully, we have an experimental hairdryer that we can mess around with just a little to see if we can get a glimpse of this nichrome in action. Now, usually when a hairdryer is going, this little fan in the back is going to disperse the heat out the front of the hairdryer to keep anything from getting too hot. However, if we block that airflow and there's no way to disperse the heat, you'll be able to see the nichrome glow orange red hot as that electricity passes through it. Now, this is definitely not something you should be trying at home. But that's one of the reasons we have a free science workshop. The wire is called nichrome because it's made up of a mix of nickel and chromium, which ends up being super, super resistive. So we've got a spool of it here. When you pass the smallest bit of current through your nichrome, the fact that it's so resistive is going to cause it to heat up. Now, I probably shouldn't touch this to anything, but we can use this mad science power to help us build some of our crazy creations. This is our nichrome foam cutter. And if you take a closer look, you might be able to recognize some pieces we've salvaged from other projects. We've got a base made of scrap wood, some drawer poles to keep your distance from the nichrome wire here, alligator clips and springs, some fans from our old discarded computers, a pirated power source, and a very old school switch from who knows where that came from. But let's take a look at how this actually works. We can tell the power is on now because the fans are running which also means that electrical current is passing through the nichrome wire, and because of its resistive properties, is now incredibly hot. Hot enough, in fact, to slice through most types of foam. This is a fairly new tool of the workshop, but it's already seen some pretty incredible projects take shape. 3D signs, to custom masks and costume pieces, or even just to de-stress with some oddly satisfying abstract art. The foam cutter will be here waiting for you when we reopen. What kinds of projects can you think of that use this tool? Let us know and we can feature your ideas right here on the Free Science page. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.